Hi, I'm Scott Staunton, one of the rehab engineers here at Magic Mobility, and today we're going to step you through one of the most essential parts of your wheelchair, which is a joystick. Um, sometimes things can go wrong, uh, so if you're more familiar with the joystick and the functions of it, hopefully you can address any issues that might arise. So today the video will be in three parts. First of all, we'll talk about the main differences between the two types of joysticks we have on our chairs. So the JSM with LED display and the CJSM2 with the LCD display. Um, then we'll go through some quick programming tips with regards to both of the controllers. Uh, and then we'll go through some troubleshooting tips on any issues that might come up uh, with the chair and why it might not be working. So first of all, I just want to speak about the JSM, which is our more basic controller on our chairs, um, and give you a basic overview of the main functions of the controller. Um, so here we have the main on-off button. So if I press this button here and press it again, you can see that the joystick has booted up. Um, these lights here indicate how much power is on the batteries, uh, and these lights will um, go out one at a time as the power reduces. Uh, we have the horn. And then we also have some functions if the chair comes with lights and indicators. So we have the lights here, um, and then we also have hazards. We also have indicators on either side of the chair. Now here we have the speed control of the chair. Now these lights indicate what speed profile the chair is in. Um, and by pressing these buttons here, we can reduce the speed or increase the speed with each profile. Uh, the furthest to the right means it's in profile five, meaning the quickest profile. And then as we press this button here, we reduce down to speed setting one or the slowest speed setting. We also have the mode button. If we press this, this allows us to get into the pad functions of the chair. Um, and as you can see here, the seat is illuminated, meaning that the seat elevate function has been operated. And by moving left, or right on the joystick, this allows us to access other functions of the chair, such as powered elevating legs, backrest recline, and tilt and space. Okay, so now we'll talk about the CJSM2, which is our more complex um, control system. So here we have the on-off toggle. So by pushing this forwards, it allows us to um, power up the joystick. Uh, and then similar to the JSM, we have this similar function. So we have hazards, indicators, and also the lights. Um, here, we can change the speed of the chair by pressing the profile button. So as you can see, scrolling up. Um, we can also change the speed within each profile by using the tortoise or the hare. Uh, and then we also have the mode button, which again allows us to get into the pad functions of the chair, like so. So with any chair that's delivered to you from Magic Mobility, um, the chair is programmed to suit your individual needs from a drive point of view. But there are some functionalities of the chair that you are able to change yourself, and especially on the CJSM2. So by holding the hazard button, this enables us to change some of the simple settings like you would on a mobile phone. So we can change um, functions such as time, distance, and how the backlight um, or how bright the screen is. And to do that, we simply move the joystick down um, and then push right into that function to be able to change it. Uh, we can look at things like total distance, how far the chair's gone, um, and trip distance as well. So if you're trying to figure out how far the chair might go on one charge, this is a good function to use. Um, if we go on to clear trip distance, we can push right into that function. And as you can see, that's changed. To come out of that screen, push left, or sorry, exit, and then we have the same functions in time. So now we're going to discuss some common issues that might come up with your chair with regards to why the chair might not drive. Uh, now these are common problems uh, and for the most part can be resolved, uh, but if they can't, we always suggest that you refer to either your user manual or contact your local agent and they will be able to help you out. So first uh, we'll discuss one of the main errors if you like, um, which is actually a safety feature that's built into the chair uh, and it's what's called a joystick out of centre at power up. Uh, and what that is, is a safety feature built in, whereas if I accidentally push the joystick forwards whilst I'm turning the chair on, you'll have this screen flash up. And all it means is that so the chair doesn't jolt forwards accidentally, um, it cuts all power to the joystick as you can see. 
If you let go of the joystick, um, ensure that it's centered and then cycle the power on the chair, you'll find that that will correct itself. So one of the other common faults you might find with your joystick is a bad cable or a connection issue. Um, now, if you can see that the batteries are fully charged and for some reason the chair's not driving and you're getting this error code, um, I would just run down and follow the cabling of your chair. Um, on the Arnet system, we have these connector blocks. If I turn this off, you can see that the connector blocks have this yellow cabling or yellow connection. If you can see any of the yellow connectors, it means that the cables aren't pushed home properly. So just ensure that they're pushed into place like so and push together so you can't see any yellow and then follow the cables and make sure there's no damage to any of the cables as well. So one of the other common faults you'll find on your controller is an M1 or M2 brake error. Now what this means is that your motors on your wheelchair have been disengaged um, so you won't be able to drive. So to address this simply turn the controller off and then work your way under the chair, have one of your carers um, to re-engage one of your drive wheels um, and just check they're both engaged by lifting the levers. Uh, this one's already engaged here. And then turning the chair back on and you should find that that error message has disappeared. Okay, so one of the safety features of the chair is um, where we have the ability to slow the chair down when we take it from its um, standard seated position if you like um, and the reason we do this is because when moving uh, whether we're transferring from the chair or whether we are moving the chair away from its normal center of gravity we slow the chair down to make it safer so for the example of our anterior tilt uh, if I push the joystick forwards we'll start to go into anterior tilt and as you can see uh, this turtle image has come up and now a red flashing turtle image has come up just to show you that the chair won't be able to maneuver in this position um, because this um, tilt is for um, enabling us to facilitate a transfer. So if you're wondering why your chair won't drive for a re particular reason, this is a place to also look. Um, but as I tilt the chair back, you'll see that turtle go from red to orange and then it will clear. So we can drive in this position. Uh, it just means that the speed of the chair has been reduced by 50%. Uh, and then as I pull back on the joystick and get back to that neutral position, you'll see that turtle disappear. So just as a final tip, we'd like to remind you that our joysticks aren't waterproof uh, because they're not sealed units. So we do recommend that you carry a plastic bag with you at all times so you can cover your hand and the joystick. Um, thanks for watching the video today and we do appreciate any feedback you might have.